What is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Capture One. So Capture One is a really essential part of your workflow if you're a professional photographer. And if you're coming across from other um, raw workflow um, pieces of software like Lightroom, and you found the idea of crossing over to Capture One quite daunting, then hopefully I can make it a little bit more simplistic. So let's dive into this and we will get started. So yeah, download your free um, trial copy from the Capture One website. I'm going to be using Capture One uh, version 22 as of this video. And uh, let's dive in. So let's reduce that. So of course we want to start a new session. So bring up the um, Capture One icon on your dock. Click on it. You'll get this box pop up and obviously you want to start a new session. So click on new session. Name this session as you wish. I'm going to call this test session easy as that now you need to choose a location you're going to save it to and i always like to save mine to the desktop so i would go click on here go to the desktop click choose and then click ok you don't need to worry about anything else that's on that screen so here we are inside the capture one interface and again as i said at the beginning it can be quite daunting at first when you uh, start on a new piece of software but Trust me, this is a really easy piece of software to use and I'm going to show you the basics so you can get started importing your images, playing around with them and then exporting them. So here we go. So what we need to do is obviously get some images inside this piece of software. So we're going to click on import and we need to find the images that you have chosen to import. So it's very straightforward. Click on choose go to the desktop or wherever you've saved those images. I have a folder called beauty shoot. So I'm going to click on that, click on review for import. And here are the images from my shoot. And these are the ones we're going to reference today. So the best way to do this is by choose folder, go to the desktop, click on your session that you've created, and then you want to import them into the capture folder. So double click on that and come down here and set as import folder. Now they'll all be imported into the capture folder and they'll be really easy to find. So at the bottom here, click on pick all and then click import all. All your images come into the browser on the right hand side, as you can see, and then you can scroll through them. You can also use the arrow keys to go through them one by one. And if you wanted to view these images full screen, you would just click on the F key and that would bring up full screen. And then to go back to the browser, Click on F again. That's a really handy shortcut actually, especially from when you're um, tagging and rating the images. Uh, I find it a lot easier to have them on full screen so you can get a general idea whether they're soft or sharp or whether it's you know the ones you want to select. So general adjustments in Capture One. Again, very straightforward. And I'm just going to show you the basics on this. We could go into detail because there's lots and lots of adjustment sliders, but you're probably going to want to just frill these up a little bit so again, with this image, maybe choose another image. Um, there's a favorite of mine in here somewhere. I think it was. I really like this image. So I purposely underexpose these, but I'm going to brighten this one up a little bit, kind of put on a little bit of contrast. And I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the way that looks. So what I want to do is I want to apply that same adjustment to multiple images. Now, the way I would do that is by copying those adjustments by going up here, top right, copy by pressing the left arrow and then select another image and then press the right arrow and it will copy that adjustment down onto that image. Now, as you can see, the model was slightly closer to the light, so it's a little bit brighter, but we can adjust that later. For speed, I want to show you how you can apply uh, those images to all the images in your folder very quickly. So you would go back to the image that you're happy with the adjustments on and you would click copy, which you've done already. And then using the command A key, which will select all the images, holding down the shift key, click on apply. That will apply those adjustments to all the images you have selected. Super easy, right? The next thing I want to do is show you how to rate them. So basic rating of the images. So go to this tab here and you see you have your star ratings listed down here. We have none 
So we have 20 images in total and I want to one star my favorite because I then want to export them as low res so I can then send them to the client and they can then choose their final selects. So let's go through and one star these selects that I like. So going through these images, I'm going to use the um, number one key to select the one star. So using the arrow key going up, I quite like this image. I'll select this image and that image there. So there are my selects. And as you can see, all the ones I've selected are listed here. So I have selected 14 in total. So you can click on that little checkbox there and that will bring up all the one star selects that you have selected. Easy as that. Now, what you need to do is export them as low res JPEGs, or you might want to export them as high res JPEGs. But for this purpose, we're going to export them as low res because I'm going to then upload them to Dropbox, send that link to the client, and then they can do their final edit and then send me back their notes for retouching, etc. So to render these out as low res JPEGs, I want to again select all of these images by going Command A. And then going up to this export tab, I then want to make sure that JPEG quick proof is selected here. Make sure the um, checkbox is selected and it's highlighted. So I want these to be processed into the output folder, which is in the test session and it's here. So choose folder. And then I don't need to do anything else because everything else, the whole recipe is already programmed into that. Click on export 14 images and it will export them pretty damn quick. And that is pretty much it. So if you now go to your desktop and click on the um, session folder and double click on the output folder, you will then see your processed low res JPEGs inside there. So these are processed out at 757 KB. So nice and light to upload to um, whatever sharing service you wish to use. I use Dropbox. It's just very easy to send a link from there and then the clients can verify their final select. So that's it for this very, very basic tutorial. I hope you learned something from this. I hope it was helpful. I plan on making quite a few more of these. And if you have any other suggestions or videos you'd like me to make about Capture One, please let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.